Welcome to Lookout Mountain Flight Park. You've chosen one of the best places in the world for your paragliding training. We've been flying here since 1978 and have taught countless people from all walks of life how to fly. You've discovered aviation's best kept secret, the purest form of flight, free flight. We're here to show you that flying can be fun, exhilarating, extreme, and even relaxing. From five feet, to 50 feet, to 5,000 feet, free flight will take you where you want to go. This is only the beginning. Lookout Mountain Flight Park, along with the United States Hang Gliding and Paragliding Association, is here to guide you on your journey to become a rated pilot. People from all over the world have come here to learn how to fly. This video, along with the guidance of your instructor, will introduce you to the training process and set you up for the highest potential for success on your first day. Are you ready? On your first day, you'll meet your instructor at the training hills. We will share the GPS coordinates with you. Additionally, Google Maps has the training hill site searchable as Lookout Mountain Flight Park Training Hills. Please make sure you have the training hill location, which is not the same area as the main landing. On your first day, we want to make the most out of the conditions, so it's important that you show up on time. If you're late, you've already missed an important part of your lesson, so plan ahead and show up a little early. We will do paperwork before starting the lesson. This includes making sure you understand paragliding is an inherently dangerous sport and you understand those risks. Then you will receive your 30-day Yushba student rating. Now that you're officially a free flight student, it's time to learn. You'll get a quick overview of the equipment and what this glider needs from you to fly its best. Pay close attention because this part of the lesson goes fast so we can make the most of the ideal training conditions. There are five key elements you will learn to fly a paraglider. Laying out the glider, hooking in, clearing lines and safety checks, inflating and forward launching, controlling the glider in the air, landing the glider, Starting with the first step, your instructor will help you put on a harness and helmet and show you how we lay out the glider. Then you'll learn how to clear your lines. For safety, we always double check our connections prior to flying. After clearing the lines and checking our safety connections, you'll move on to launching the glider. The easiest way to do this is with a forward launch. With the glider laid out and our lines sorted, we can run into the wind to get the glider flying. Since we have not practiced steering or landing yet, we will learn to get the glider flying by first running on flat ground. Your instructor will both demonstrate and give more specific coaching on technique. But the basics are, select a target on the horizon, align yourself with the middle of the glider, accelerate smoothly while guiding the A-risers into position. Release the A-risers once they are vertical. Be ready to run with your feet down. Keep your eyes focused on the target. Always look where you want to go. If your first tries don't go quite right, don't be discouraged. It's your first time trying this, and all paraglider pilots overcame this challenge. If your instructor ever tells you to stop, stop running and pull the brakes all the way down. The glider will stop flying and you can reset it and try again. If the glider is not inflating evenly or is in an incorrect position or tangled, you can always stop the launch before you leave the ground. When flying, never pull both brakes down. So if the instructor ever tells you to stop when you are launching, stop running and pull both brakes. To learn the last two elements of flying, controlling the glider and landing, your instructor might use a simulator or just demonstrate to you on the hill. Paragliders are controlled by shifting our weight and applying brake pressure. So shifting to the left or the right will turn the glider left or right. Applying brake pressure on the left or right will also turn the glider left or right. The brakes are sensitive, so it is important to keep your inputs light. Always keep your elbows bent to avoid excessive input. Never pull both brakes all the way down in flight, except for landing just prior to touchdown. A training paraglider flies very slowly and gently. Landing is easy. Landing is accomplished by applying gentle, even brake pressure as you approach the ground. 
This is called a flare or flaring. Your instructor will show you how to put the five key elements together for a successful flight. Laying out the glider, hooking in, clearing lines and safety checks, inflating and forward launching, controlling the glider in the air, and landing the glider. Some things to remember in the air. Fly away from the hill. Always keep your elbows bent to avoid any sudden or major inputs. And remember, if your instructor tells you to stop, abort your launch and reset the glider. Now you are ready to fly. Being a bit nervous is totally normal. You have a certified instructor by your side. You're going to be flying, so relax and enjoy it. Lay out the glider evenly. Clear the lines and attach to the glider. Check to make sure your risers are in the right orientation and that you have clean Vs leading from your carabiner down the riser to the pulley and back to your brake handle. Line up in the middle of the glider. Smoothly accelerate, walk, jog, run to get it flying. Keep running even if your feet don't touch the ground. As you approach the ground, be ready to run and apply a gentle even brake pressure to perform a flare. Putting each element together takes a bit of practice. So again, don't get discouraged if your first flights aren't perfection. We're learning to fly and having fun, and you'll get it. And when you do, the reward is longer flights by moving higher on the hill. At the end of your lesson, you and your instructor will go over your training checklist, reviewing what you've accomplished in today's lesson and where you will pick up next time. We find people make their best progress when they fly often. So it's a great idea to book your following lesson for as soon as your schedule and the weather permits. Usually, if the weather and your progress permit, you will be launching, flying, and landing a paraglider all in your very first day. You are now a paraglider pilot. Free flight is an amazing experience. We hope that this video and your Lookout Mountain Flight Park instructors help you take flight and you have the time of your life. This is just the beginning. This video is intended to be used only as an educational supplement in conjunction with training from Lookout Mountain Flight Park. Only learn paragliding with the help of a Yushpa certified instructor.